Okay. Everybody posting question marks in chat are either delusional about cats or they have no interaction with cats. The problem is that cats have are socially uh, uh, I'm not, this isn't, but this isn't an argument, by the way, or whatever. I'm just, I'm telling you facts, okay? And then here comes Dan with his two cats worth of experience where he's buying designer cats for $20,000 to tell us how normal cats act like. The LSF mods deleted your comments. I think they wiped those entire threads, I think. Some guy posted on LSF, on that cat thread. He said, this is so wholesome, but I would never let a random ass cat climb onto my shoulder though. I got scared watching this video because cats are bipolar and you never know when they decide to just scratch you with their paws like it's an ordinary thing to do. And having one so close to my eyes would mean risking losing an eye. Too big of a risk for me to take, but I'm a coward so it all makes sense. That guy had negative 31 points. You know that's absolutely true, right? Everybody posting question marks in chat are either delusional about cats or they have no interaction with cats. You, that's actually 100% true. Um, there are absolutely cats. And I understand because a lot of you guys, maybe you just have one cat in your whole life and you've never seen another. So you think all cats are like your cat. There are some cats where you can fucking do whatever you want with them and they'll always be chill. And then there are other cats where like, I remember, cause we've had a few cats my parents had. I remember we had one cat, I talk about this all the time. Um, uh, Isabel was her name. Uh, where you're like petting her and she's chill and she's chill and then when she's done getting pets She's like Arr! she'll hit you she'll claw you and then she'll walk away um, And I've, I've seen multiple cats like that where they're chill and they don't give any indication that they're uncomfortable They're like rubbing their head against you. They're super chill. They're doing this and then all of a sudden they'll bite you and walk away There are absolutely um, There are absolutely cats that do that I think it's probably more likely if it's like a call it like a dumpster cat like a cat that you get in the humane society or the pound or whatever That's like especially once they're a year old um, it's probably not as likely to happen with a cat that's been um, housed with humans since their birth or whatever, but... Don't forget his comments about the J6 writers fighting cops. I feel like that was a bad look for him. Destiny, but was that a real bite or a play bite? The problem is that cats have are socially uh, awkward. Um, cats don't really do play bites well. Dogs do play bites really well. When a dog is playing with you, it's really hard to get hurt. When a cat is playing with you, if they like quote unquote play bite your hand, if you pull away, you're gonna get cut because their teeth are gonna drag on you, right? If you know that a cat is play biting with you and you remain calm and you sit there and you let them do their little gnaw and then they walk away, then you'll be okay. But if you ever get scared or nervous and you pull back, they'll rip your fucking hand open, even if they're play biting with you. Um, dogs, especially big dogs, are usually way better about understanding like, um, like what is the level of force I can use and how can I treat whatever creature I'm with in a way that's not gonna hurt it. Cats are so much worse at that. Uh, I'm not, this isn't, but this isn't an argument, by the way, or whatever. I'm just, I'm telling you facts, okay? Because I've I been with cats. a lot of dogs and a lot of cats, I and I know dog. everything I'm saying is He's true. Um, if you He's disagree with me, then it's probably because you just don't have very much experience with either animal, which is fine. You have your one animal, and it's cute, and it's awesome, and that's your experience. But as somebody that's had a ton of experience with a lot of dogs and a lot of cats, um, yeah, the ca cats are absolutely, can, can flip on you way harder in general than a dog can. Now, that's not to say that some dogs won't flip, especially on other animals, um, but uh, yeah, just be careful, right? especially around stranger cats, okay? The issue is you had experience with the most abused dumpster cats ever. Oh, and then here comes Dan with his two cats worth of experience where he's buying designer cats for $20,000 to tell us how normal cats act like. Thank you, Dan, for your valuable input, okay? Small doggies can be just as bad with smaller animals. They'll rip anything to shreds. Um, I think the problem with small dogs is that you can get away with not training a small dog because it's not generally gonna kill things, whereas larger dogs will. So I think that a lot of small dogs get away with being like really poorly disciplined because people are like, oh, it's just a chihuahua, it's so cute, it's not gonna hurt anything. So people don't actually train their smaller dogs. They just think it's okay to let them act like dog shit, which is unfortunate, but. <clears throat> Every single time you spam, we have 50 in chat when I'm in the middle of a fucking conversation topic, I'm de delaying even longer, okay? They'll kill things, just not people, unlike pit bulls. Yeah, the only, um... 
the only the only scary thing about um the only scary thing about dogs is what is um what was I gonna say? Fuck, I had a thing and then I forgot it because people in the chat are dumb as fuck. Oh, always keep your dog on a leash. Unless you like have super had your dog like all over and you know how your dog acts like with other dogs and shit. That's, an that's another dumb thing. Some people walk with their dogs without leashes on and then their dogs will find another dog and they'll run up and kill it. Don't do that. Don't be that person, okay? <laughs> Don't let that happen to you, all right? The fact that dogs can reasonably kill a human being while cats really can't. For a dog to kill a human, that dog has to be ultra fucked. He's either got rabies or he's like trained to murder people or whatever, but every owner thinks they can control their dog. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that like animals, um, your heroes no longer level up. Wait, are my heroes not leveling up on this? Wait, why? Oh wait, shit, they might've hit their level cap. Cats can kill you with infections? Um, fuck off. Oh, they did. I think Devin was worried about that. Or Devin was like, oh yeah, if a cat like bites you, you can get infected and then it'll kill you. <laughs> okay. A lot of cats carry toxoplat. No, shut the fuck up. All right, you're not gonna die if a cat bites you. Chill. Okay, hold on. I need to see if I can level my duder up. Was Devin serious about the microwave shit? Listen, I don't, Devin says a lot of weird stuff sometimes. It's hard to tell when he's trolling or not, alright? What is the max level? So I have to get this guy to 40 and then I have to give him champions to upgrade his rank? Oh, and it has to be champions of the same rank. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. This is way too complicated for me. This champion can be fused, can be used to fuse another champion. You need to feed, you need him at 40 and feed him four star champs. St the stars are just the ranking of the champion, right? So how do I make this champion a four star champion? Upgrade rank, okay, hold on. So this is a three star, if I go to upgrade her rank, the annoying thing to me is that dog owners don't realize how incompetent they are at training. A good owner should train recall and heal at all sides of your body. The easiest way to point out a shitty dog owner is if their leash is in limp. How many warriors to watch new- Sacrifice three three stars. Gotcha. Damn, that's brutal. And in, in order to get these guys... ...ranked up... Okay, I understand. All right, and then the final thing is, how do I get shard? How do I get, um, oh, I got shards. So the goal is to just keep leveling up lower people, stack them into higher people, and then sacrifice some to make more and more higher One people. One of my cats say, right? scratched me when I first got them, and it caused a lymph node to swell only groin. Had to have it removed and was diagnosed with cat scratch fever. Didn't know it was real. I am Batman. I lived with a lovely girl, Catwoman. One day we had sex. She bit me. Now, I'm dead man. Okay. Alinity has COVID? Yeah, I imagine most people are gonna get it at this point. Um, why do cats come back when they run away but dogs don't? I think dogs usually will, unless you have like a husky or something. I think most dogs will try to come back. Um, I think cat, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching right now. I don't 100% know this. Um, But I, I think um, I think cats are really good at managing territory, and dogs are very much not territorial. I think like a, like cats will 
carve out like city blocks like gangs. And if you go to certain areas, there will be like cats have like, this is my block, this is my block, this is my block. And like a cat will be able to go all over a neighborhood and know where it's going and everything. And I think dogs can get lost way easier where they're like walking around and like, I have no fucking idea like where I'm at or whatever. Wait, hold on one second. This is gonna take me like two minutes, one sec. <clears throat> No. You can do a meow. No, I can't. Good. Hi, meow. <laughs> a better one. Meow. 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 I fucking hate you. <laughs>